<laughs> that was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. <laughs> Shut up. At least we made some money. Hey, what did I get? Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine, see if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Won't take long, boy. Look at me now, in the gutter sea, <laughs> back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say, Not the dad, no, please. No, this is him. Fine, damn you three. Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. <laughs> so, we got the tracks with the wagon, then jump. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. John? Secure the passenger car fast, take charitable donations, and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire, you focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. If we handle this right, nobody needs to die here. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it up. Mr. Marston, Mr. Smith, Mr. McGuire, ha! Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she slows. I still want die with you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving.
Captain. Well, go on ahead. Ah! Everybody stay calm and sure. everybody oh. get shot. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! Don't help there me! There you go. Let's make this go! Please! I don't I ain't got nothing. Wanna have a little chat with Romeo and Juliet here? Please don't help me. No some problem here. Money! Valuable! Don't do this! Just give it to him, Thomas, please! Okay. In the bag, everything you got. Keep it coming, don't be shy. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Don't help me. I wanna count to three? One? We're dying over. Tell him, Mr. Amp. Please don't help me. Thank you. This is unnecessary. Please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Let's make this quick. I'll get you. Baggage car. Reach out. Quick, come on! Come on, partner. Come on, quick! Everything you got. Money, valuables. We ain't leaving until this bag's full. You won't get a damn cent. <laughs> over to my friend. Why are you? What did I do? I'll beat you. Mr. Mr. Amp, don't make me hurt you. Money now! Come on, cuff it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Don't balance me, please. No, please. Don't help me. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you folks move a muscle. You hear me? What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? Probably something in here, Arthur. with the contract in. morning. Miss O'Shea. Oh, hey, Dutch.
Grimshaw? Hello, man. I'm guessing there's some story behind that blood on you. sand again. I'm not even gonna dignify that with a response. Pinkerton's a stone's throw from camp. Don't worry about it, Arthur. What's your problem? I just hope you know what you're doing. Get a hold of yourself. Molly, my dear. at it. Morning. Why don't you sit a while, Arthur? All right. Hi there. Ah. Hello there. Good day. Room by the fire here, Mr. Morgan. So, what's for dinner? Dysentery again? So now I'm in the firing line. Okay. So good. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Good morning. No more desperate, Strauss. It's desperate then. I apologize in advance for this stew. It needs better meat. You'll be able to make something nice with that. Good, we really needed this. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Now, Lenny. Well, uh... Whatever else is in store for us, Arthur, I'll tell you one thing. What's that? The rare old pleasure not to be freezing our balls off up in those mountains. <laughs> You're not wrong there. Be well. And you, Hosea. What do you think America is? I get you. What's well, like you said? America's a club. What's going on? You taught me to phrasing, but my daddy taught the ideas almost before I could speak. Were no fun being an educated Negro fan? No. He was a great man, you were Paul. You know, Ben, I've killed girls at the 
betrayed us. It doesn't happen to you. Is reading betrayal in your world, Miss Grimshaw? Not reading, miss. Idleness. Idleness is betrayal because it means I work so you don't have to. That's not right, is it? I guess not, miss. You're right not, missy! On! I've had enough of you, you sour old hag. You just love to hear your own mouth. Yes, you heard. Is this meant to be funny? You sour old witch. I've heard enough out of you now. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Do come in. What can I do for you? Let's have a look. You'll see a few people in town with that, too. Good, good. The sheriff's got an app for himself at one point. The more bounty posters that go up, the more people flock to my shop. Plenty of reason for that in Valentine.
If it weren't for all the bounties running around New Hanover, I'd be out of business. Every man got to have a revolver. You live out here, you keep that handy. You want to make this really yours? Give it a personal engraving. I'd just like to give this a personal touch with some engraving. Now, this I've had my fair fun. share of big nights at Smithfields, but so long. Okay, boy. Let's go. Welcome. Feel free to browse. Let me just stock up on my supplies. Now, let's have a look. Okay. Sure. Got what I need. Thank you. Really. Last 
bastard! What is it? You all right? Build the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet? There's probably something in here, Arthur. To cover. Try my best, brother, but I'm seeing double here. That gives you twice the chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. Oh. Oh. I'm going to have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Hosh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. There's some decent stuff. How's it looking in there? Let's go. We're looking good in here. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two assholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. Uh, in that case, we're fighting. Austin Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Eh? Hey, there's a few more of them torn enough. Damn, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. Look out on the left! Here come the friends! I got my arm coming from the trees there! The
Let's just get the hell out of here! want some huh who else sure I'll shoot you wouldn't mind some practice well let's get to it then Time, boy. Hellfire! I ain't moving! After a ticket? Ticket for one, please. Okay, head on in. Tent to your left. Greetings and salutations, gentle folk. This here's a story about a young couple from the village of Annisburg that was courting a few years after the Revolutionary War. Courting in the woods, as you know young people want to do. Stealing away all sneaky-like. Girl by the name of Ethel Beauchard snuck out of the parlor one evening just as soon as her mother went out to hang clothes on the line from the washing. She met up on the road by her farm with a boy by the name of Eugene Hutton. Now, the Hutton boy was an athletic chap, like boxing, fishing, and swinging Indian clubs. It's quite singular to the story that he didn't seem all that inclined to go to war in the preceding years leading up. Well, they walked in the woods for a while. Pretty soon, they lost their bearings and no longer knew the north from the south, nor east from west, neither. Then they heard a low, moaning sound. What's that terrible noise? She said all the truth. Must be a sick calf looking for its mama. They've been known to ball like that. Let me take a look, said Eugene. Well, old Eugene went and disappeared around the tree, came out the other side, preached, then went to chastising. You should be ashamed of yourself, Eugene Hutton, she said. Instead of giving a girl protection, you go carry on acting foolish and fresh like the Queen's Prize Jester. But right then and there, a chilly wind blew through and knocked off Eugene's hat. I need to get back home. My mama has a terrible temper. She's like to stomp up and down if she finds out we're missing. She is a fair, stout woman, Eugene noted. But just then, before this couple of miscreants could head home, they heard the sound of heavy wheels groaning and people marching. 
the carcophony grew closer and closer, and through the fog, they could make out the shapes of ghost horses pulling spectral cannons and dead soldiers marching as if their graves could no longer contain them, each wearing a vile red coat. You will pay for your moral transgressions, the dead soldier howled and cut his head clean off. Miss Pochard shrieked in horror as Eugene's head landed right in her hand, his eyes still darting about, attempting to discern what horror had transpired. Little Miss Ethel Beauchard ran as fast as she could, stumbling and getting caught on trees as she tore through the forest. Terrified for her life, the dead soldiers marching after, hungry for blood. When she returned home, she told the people of the village that an army of the dead had taken Eugene within the confines of the fog. British soldiers who died protecting tyranny were rising from their graves as if to continue the fight for the demonic English. The townspeople erupted in fright and dismay until one daughter came forth and accused her of witchcraft. She raised the dead to murder that boy for his pursuit of unwanted advances, he said. So she too must perish. And that very night, they put her to the stake and burned her dead. Now let that be a lesson to you young ones not to go courting in the woods, in case the English lurk there still. Hope to see you again. Okay, boy. Welcome in this town no more. You best watch your mouth. Yeah? Say something else about me. Shut up. That's it! <laughs> Excuse me. What's the matter with you? Just leave me be. I'm just gonna be on my way, all right? Let me take a look at what you, the tough hell? guy. What's oh my your God. game? Aside from smelling funny. You stay away. Yeah, get out of here. Help! Please, someone! someone. You, you pathetic sack of shit. Somebody. Get away from <laughs>
finding some law. Hey, mister. Hey there. Thanks to your help, we should be finished with this soon, God willing. And don't worry, I ain't forgotten your payment. Come back once we're finished and I'll have it for you. Looks like you're almost there. We might actually finish this thing. Who do we have here? That's a fine Steve. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. Be 
sure to let everyone know where you've got this nag groomed. and Gussie in your horse up. Huh? I'll make this horse prettier than you. Hey, mister. What'd you forget to do last time? Who'd you think you're talking to? Did you say something? So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that the we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. But, but, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Hello, Just need to pick up Hello. something. Hey! There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. You can come oh. back here to be an ass again? Hey there. Moment, please. Hold on. Yeah. Thanks. Come on, man. Hitch up. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh... Head in, pick up a sniper rifle. I'll explain later. Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. I'm going to have to take this on credit. Uh, well, no, wait. We ain't even discussed terms. Or I can take it in a way that ain't so polite. Okay, okay, fine. You can do uh, pay. Good? Sure. Let's go. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? 
Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Let's see about this. Take it easy. Anyway, what was you talking about? Calm down! It's done now. Mate, if you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl, what was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. This rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. 